Welcome to the first in Come and Have a Fag With Me. Today we're going to be talking about the Euro elections and see what differences and what seats have been declared so far. It's been a bit of a rough week for Gordon Brown, we all know this. It's been a strange one in many ways. He hasn't really done much to improve himself over the past few days with calls for him to leave by several backbench MPs. But you have to ask yourself, why doesn't he just quit? I think one of the main reasons might be that he's waiting for the outcome of the local elections and the Euro elections. Announced on Thursday, the local elections were a disgrace for Labour. Barely scraping through, losing seven councils across the UK. But let's think about the Euro elections. We're in the EU, it's important for us to be part of it to a certain extent. There are people calling for us to leave the EU. Whether or not this is the right thing to do, who knows. So let's talk about the results we've got so far. So far, we've seen roughly around 30 seats called. Conservatives have got 24, that's an increase of one on the 2004, which is pretty good for the Conservatives, including some vital seats won in Wales. The first time, the very first time that the Conservatives have done so well in Wales. UKIP go up to 13 from 12, that's a plus one. Labour, now there's a problem with Labour's outcomings tonight. We see from the, act, from the results that Labour have lost five seats, most of these going to the Conservatives. Now, being a cynic, you've got to say that the MP's expenses scandal and the blatant hate for Gordon Brown has caused most of this. But we'll see what happens in the next few days. The big news tonight is the BNP gaining two seats, one up north and one down south. It's a big surprise. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, that's it for now and come have a fag with me. We'll have another installment a little bit later.